Well, it's very um, generous of you to say that it's my creation. It's Robin Lee's creation. Robin Lee created Solène Marchand in her amazing book, The Idea of You. And then Jennifer Westfeldt adapted Solène uh, into a version of what uh, is in the film. And I definitely contributed to it, but Michael Showalter also really shaped it. Amy Williams, our production designer, um, Jackie DiMatteo, uh, uh, our costume designer, Jim Frona, our, our cinematographer. Everybody kind of came together on a team to try to tell the story of this woman who has this really unexpected thing happen to her. And, um, you know, there's so many fun, poppy elements to the movie, but really deep down it is a love story and it is about a woman healing from this terrible trauma that she went through that her ex-husband put her through when he, he broke her heart. And the story is in a way kind of about her finding her heart in a new way with this wonderful person that comes into her life called Hayes Campbell. I mean, dare I say we didn't really work at it so much that it kind of um, came quite organically to us and we just we just built a friendship really over, um, you know, pre-production and we were texting each other a lot and we were really just getting to know each other as people. And then, you know, when, when you finally act in those sort of intimate moments, if you feel a closeness to someone, um, it, it just, you can do it with, with ease. And I think, you know, we, we tell a really amazing story in those intimate moments we tell one of, of female pleasure which is often relegated in, in, in films like this and so um, I think we were just definitely on uh, we had a, the same North Star yeah. um, and, and we just were friends so it kind of made it very easy really I think so oh I was amazed it was so good. So, you know, we you have to understand, we were not at Coachella. We were in a field, <laughs> just a kind of like sort of outside Atlanta, Georgia. And it was mind blowing. They built an entire stage mm. with a complete lighting rig um, and, and uh, you know, scaffolding and, and everything. And there were sets. And then the guys who I've been hearing, you know, from Nick, who I have, I have to say, it's, it's really a lot to be filming a movie while rehearsing dance at the same time. So whenever Nick wasn't kind of on camera doing all of the things that you have to do as an actor, he was transforming into this, you know, the lead singer of this internationally beloved boy band. And so I've been hearing about it and then to actually see it in action, I was just really happy for everybody. And I also like, you know, cynically was like, it works. <laughs> the movie's gonna work, this is so much fun. And then sorry, just one last thing because I'm talking too much. Um, and then to watch the background artists who, let's be honest, were paid to be there. Uh, to watch them on the first night go from, you know, just background artists who were there because they'd been hired to the third night they knew every word, they had favorites in the band, they were completely invested. They came to like, and, and the crew started dressing up like moonheads. And to see all of that was really, really special because nobody has to do that. Mm. Everybody was just having a great time and wanted to lean into it. So yeah. it was just really fun. It was um, those nights, especially. I mean, I, we, I'd really bonded with the with the boys. Uh, you know, throughout the whole experience, we were all in the same hotel together. We'd hang out every day and, um, you know, just desperately trying to get as much dance training under my belt as, as possible. There never seems to be enough time when you need to, like, learn a skill like this. And, and so it was very daunting. But then, you know, you, you come out on the stage and there's kind of very little acting required because it's all there around you. And um, uh, just sort of playing into the chemistry that kind of o already existed between between the lads, but you know, running down the the, the catwalk um, and jumping into the, the crowd and getting your shirt pulled out and everything. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 very very surreal, and you kind of have to. Um, uh, I mean, you do feel like you're playing to a crowd of about eighty thousand, but we're we're very indebted to the to the supporting artists who showed up. You know. At, it was 3 a.m. in the morning um, in, in, on a cold night in Atlanta for three days. So, um, yeah, and, and as Annie said, you know, with our crew, they never were just like clocking in to come to work. I mean, no. they were so they were equally invested in 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 the band and our story.
everyone fell so deep in love in this movie. Like when we went to take the crew photo, at the end of it, like I have a video of it where I just kind of pressed record and did a circle and the actual chemistry that was between all of us, like not like Nick and I got to like, you know, represent it, but mm. everyone was so in love on this movie. Everybody was so kind. It just kind of felt like this one of those really special experiences that you you're just going to remember forever. I mean, so, so special that, um, you know, we had our, our uh, screening at South by Southwest. Uh, a month ago, whatever it is now, so many of the crew from Atlanta drove over to, to Texas to support us. And they I all got an Airbnb th together. That's not, that doesn't and always our, happen. And our cinematographer, pe for people who couldn't get an Airbnb, yeah. he got them one. Incredible. Like, so that way we all, like, like the after party was kind of like the dress up rap party. Yeah. <laughs>well thank you for saying that um that's really kind and like kind of the only thing um <clears throat> like you really really at least I was really hoping for was in my role is that you could feel their bond and um I think I think from the moment that we met she was just very um open and willing to get to know me and and so she's so inquisitive and um insightful and and can truly like connect over any anything. And so um, I think it was just sort of finding these pockets during filming, like she was just so generous with her time and with her energy with me that I think it would be like impossible not to bond with her. It was like such a natural kind of progression of our relationship in real life and then in the film because um, she was just really willing to like give me her time and I think because of that, we just sort of ended up getting to know each other naturally. And then when you act with her, she's really giving and really calming. And I think I let my guard down a lot and I, I'm guard down. It's an Oxmoon song. Um, but, sorry. Uh, and I, and I, I did let my guard down and I, I think it was like just this kind of natural coming together where we just ended up both, I hope she did, but we ended up both feeling really comfortable and really like just had a lot of fun with each other. And I think that, yeah, just like forming a friendship with her made that really, really possible. And she made it very, very easy. I, I think he's, you know, um, I, I love playing these characters, by the way. I, I think it's, there, there's something very, you know, current and timely about these characters because we're, we're seeing them so often. I think he's a product of his generation. He's a product of his time in that, you know, uh, he, he's a privileged guy who has, you know, led a fairly self-centered life who, who's getting a bit of a reckoning. And this is happening. You know, it's happening all around us. Um, so, yeah, to sort of prep for for him, I, I really just tried to zero in on, on, on how to make him relatable because I, I feel like, you know, if if you can find a way to make the 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 villain, as it were, relatable to the audience, it it packs a bigger punch for your for your hero. You know, because it, the the audience is gets torn and they get they get a different experience. Same sort of like I, I see why I don't like this guy, but there's maybe something about him that I that's reflecting something back at me about myself and. I love the experience when you're sort of wondering, it's like, like, wow, what, what makes this, you know, this bad guy tick and, and, and why is he being such an obstacle rather than just being, oh, he's an obstacle just because he's an asshole, you know, because no one is just, well, I mean, I guess there, there are people out there who are just assholes and you, you, you know who you are. Uh, but I think it's much more interesting if, if, you know, there's something a little unexpected you know, in, in, in these characters and, and, and something that you, you know, that you like about the guy. I, I think we all have that. We all have, you know, our good days, our bad days, you know, you, you know, you might meet an asshole on a great day and think he's wonderful. And you might meet someone wonderful on a bad day and think they're just absolutely horrible and, and everything in between. So that's what Michael did with this movie is he made it very authentic. He made all these characters, you know, very real and very relatable. And I, I think that's why the audience is connecting it to it so much because it's, it's not offering up these characters in a way that sort of like shoves them down your throat. It just sort of says, here they are. They're fully realized human beings. 
that you can all relate to. And, and this is the journey that they go on together. Yeah, it was amazing. That's such a great question. It, it was, it was amazing. I, they at all, they all worked so hard um, on that. And it really showed uh, it was just, it was just such a seamless performance and so clearly so boy band it was exactly what you what you wanted and it made doing the scene a lot easier because we're in this crowd watching them perform on this gigantic stage and it was like it made my job so easy because I was like how could I not be you know watching this group of people just like enchanted by by this boy band um and having the most fun because the songs are so much fun and so like it was it was really special to get to see it and to see it live um, before I obviously before I saw the film, because it was just like such a yeah, just such a visceral version of of that experience. Um, it was it was awesome. And I've never been to Coachella, so it was kind of it was wish fulfillment for me. I think we have a fascination with the with these characters. These these are are for me anyway. It's it's this incredible moment in our culture where we have this incredibly intense love and 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 fascination with these pop stars, these young pop stars, both male and female. Um, and so, at a time when the culture is really embracing them as artists, as as uh, celebrities and we're and and they're and they're and they have real social value the way that that i think that these young pop stars are incredibly progressive um and so um it felt like a pr perfect character to tell a story about Well, for, for me, the, you know, this, the, the sort of the challenge as in, in telling this story was to hopefully make the audience feel like, yeah, this is what would happen. This is how it could work. Um, is that as different as they are, as uh, seemingly opposed as they are in their lives, they actually have quite a lot of similarities. They actually both feel alone in a lot of ways. They both have a lot of vulnerability that with the other person they feel safe sharing um he she doesn't really know who he is she doesn't know why all those things about him and so there's definitely physical attraction but they need to it's they need to get to know each other as people in order to fall in love and that was for me that was the challenge in writing and directing the movie Well, we, we had a pretty ex exhaustive search for, for the Hayes character and we met a lot of incredible guys. Um, but definitely when Nick came along, we felt like he combined all of the different qualities that we were looking for in this character. Charming, uh, believable as a star, romantic, but also there's a relatability there and he's also very funny. And so we needed, you know, it was, it was he was the perfect blend of all the qualities we were looking for in the character. Yeah, well, we have we worked with this unbelievable songwriter, Sabin Katecha, who if who's written who's in the pop world and has written songs for every single major pop artist just about that exists out there. So he created this incredible sound for the for the group. And then, yes, as you say, I mean, there's a for this for the mega fans out there, there's a real evolution you see, not just from August Moon to Hayes Campbell, but even August Moon themselves. In the beginning of the movie, they're listening to like an earlier August Moon song. And then by the time we see them at Coachella, they've sort of started to get more adventurous musically. So Savin did an incredible job building them, world building with the August Moon um, musical evolution. I think, I think that's just how I, I think hopefully like a lot of my films have that quality. That's sort of just how I see things. So that's just kind of my tone as a storyteller um, is to try to make this, the world feel real and, and familiar. Like you kind of get lost in it. And 
Um, there's all sorts of ways that I do that in terms of locations and and the 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 way the the set does you know the production design and the way we shoot it and the way I the performances. But you know, for example, you know the big breakup scene in the movie happens in a car. It happens in her car parked. A different movie might have done that in some fantastic location overlooking, you know, overlooking the the Pacific Ocean or something like that. So for me, a lot of it is is in finding small moments that feel human. And so, um, but I think for me, it's not, it, it would almost be more challenging to do it the other way because this is just how I see the world. 